This video is about Johannes Brahms Symphony No. 4. I will explain the most important things about the work and the composer. Johannes Brahms was one of the most important composers of the Romantic period and wrote a total of four symphonies, which are among the pinnacles of the genre. With his fourth and last symphony, which he completed in the summer of 1885 and premiered in Meiningen in October of the same year, Brahms put a crowning end to his symphonic work. The work is considered one of the greatest achievements in the history of music and the pinnacle of Romantic symphonic music. Brahms's Fourth Symphony is a work full of tragedy, grandeur, and fateful magnitude. It is in the key of E minor, which is traditionally associated with pain, suffering, and despair. Brahms himself described the symphony as a few movements that belong together and that I would like to hear in this company. The four movements of this symphony do indeed form an inseparable whole, imbued with a profound and fateful mood. The symphony's first movement begins with a dark, almost threatening theme in the strings and woodwinds, which runs through the entire movement like an ominous omen. This theme is repeatedly interrupted by passionate outbursts and resigned retreats. The development section of the movement is particularly impressive, in which Brahms ingeniously processes the thematic material and builds it up to a shattering climax. The second movement forms a gentle contrast to the tragic first movement. It is in the key of E major and begins with a consoling melody in the horns, which is taken up and developed by the strings and woodwinds. As the movement progresses, a dialogue unfolds between the various instrumental groups, carried by an intimate and confident mood. The movement ends with a peaceful coda that shines like a redeeming light in the darkness of the symphony. The third movement is an energetic allegro jocoso, a lively and playful piece in triple time. It begins with a spirited theme in the strings, which is taken up and varied by the winds. In the middle section of the movement, a lyrical melody in the woodwinds is accompanied by the strings. The movement ends with a brilliant coda that takes up the main theme once more and brings it to a rousing conclusion. The fourth and final movement of the symphony is an extended finale in the form of a passacaglia. This means that the movement is based on a constantly recurring bass theme, over whichever new variations and intensifications are built. This theme is first heard in the winds and strings, and is illuminated and interpreted in ever new ways as the movement progresses. In the coda of the movement, the musical events come together to form a powerful climax that brings the symphony to a shattering and yet uplifting conclusion. Brahms's Fourth Symphony is a work full of depth, complexity, and diversity. Behind the tragic and fateful mood lie numerous references, allusions, and hints that make the work a fascinating cosmos of musical meanings. In the symphony, Brahms draws on models and forms from Baroque music, such as the Passacaglia or the Chacon, and combines them with the Romantic musical language to create a unique synthesis. Brahms's Fourth Symphony is also a masterpiece of counterpoint and harmony. Brahms was a master of counterpoint, the art of combining several independent voices into a harmonious whole. In the symphony, he displays this art at the highest level, creating a dense web of voices and lines that captivates the listener. At the same time, the symphony is a testament to Brahms' bold and innovative harmony, which often pushes the boundaries of tonality and opens up new worlds of sound. Brahms' Fourth Symphony was received with enthusiasm and reverence at its premiere and is still considered one of the most important and sublime symphonies in the history of music. With its tragedy, depth, and fateful greatness, it addresses the existential questions and abysses of human existence and gives them an immortal musical expression. At the same time, the symphony is a timeless legacy that encapsulates the essence of Brahms's creative output and has gone down in history as the pinnacle and culmination of romantic symphonic music.